Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get a little more involved and in depth with our laser and grade rod. Today we're going to learn in depth, in detail, how to set an elevation based off of a hub on the job using a laser and a grade rod. So let's dive right in. The first thing is, if you haven't already watched my basics video on how to use a laser and a grade rod, run over and watch that video real quick so that you have a basic understanding of what we're doing here. I'm not going to delve into the details of what exactly, how all of this works. We're just going to get into how to take an elevation. So watch that video first, come back over here. So now that you're ready and prepped, we're going to get right into it. Man, I've said get right into it so many times. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find our benchmark, which will be a hub somewhere on the job site. For the sake of this video, we're going to pretend that our hub is sitting right here at my feet. So we're going to take our grade rod up and we're going to find our spot on the grade rod. So what we've got now is we've got three foot, three tenths and nine hundredths. So our number for this hub is 3.39 feet on our grade rod. So now that we have our number on our grade rod, what do we actually do with this number? Well, this is just an ambiguous point in space. It doesn't mean anything. 3.36 or whatever the number was, doesn't actually mean anything in the grand scheme of things. What we need to do is tie it to a specific elevation in the universe. Luckily, that's what we have a hub stake for. Right next to your hub stake will be the grade stake with the elevation of that hub. For the sake of this example, we're going to set our benchmark elevation to 110.65 feet. That will be written on the grade stake in nice black letters so that you know exactly where it is. The next thing we need to do is we need to get the elevation of our subgrade. So let's pretend in this example that we're about to dig a basement and we know that our basement subgrade elevation is going to be 104.32 feet. Now we have an understanding of what we need to do. We need to get from this level here that our grade rod is set at, and we need to get down to this level here, which is our 104.32 feet. So the first thing we need to do is subtract those two numbers. And because I'm not good at mental math, I brought a cheat sheet with me. So our benchmark is 110.65 feet. Our subgrade is 104.32 feet. So if you subtract one from the other, you get a difference of 6.33 feet. What does that tell us? That tells us how much we need to go up or down on the grade rod in order to set the correct elevation. The way that we go about this is we look at those numbers. Our benchmark elevation was at the 110 foot. Our subgrade is at 104 foot. 104 foot is less than 110 feet, which means we're going down in elevation, which makes sense because a basement is a hole in the ground. And unless they set your hub way over in some low spot, it makes sense it's going to be down. Now this is where grade rods get a little confusing. If we want to go down in elevation, that means we need to go up on the grade rod. You can think of it as being opposite or the way I think about it personally is if we're going to dig a hole in order for this eye to stay level with the laser, it's going to have to go up because the grade rod is going to be sitting lower in the ground. So all that to say, because our elevation here for our subgrade is lower, it's a less number than our hub elevation, we're going to go up the rod. If we had an elevation for whatever reason, if we had a slope that we were marking or something along those lines and our elevation was higher than our benchmark elevation, you guessed it, we would go down the grade rod. So we need to go up the grade rod 6.33 feet. The easiest way to do this, if you don't have a calculator, if you don't wanna mess with that is, do the feet first, do the tenths second. So we need to go from, we're sitting at three foot right now, we need to go up six feet, so we're gonna take this up to nine foot on the grade rod. I'm gonna go to the same mark at nine foot that we were at three foot, which if you'll remember was three point, I'm sorry, yes, 3.9 tenths or 39 hundredths. So once I get this clamped down onto my rod, so 
So what I've done is I've moved this up the pole by six feet. So if you remember, we were at 0.39 tenths, 39 hundredths, or three tenths and nine hundredths. Essentially, it was a mark below four tenths. I want to take this sensor to the same point, just six feet taller. So we were at three foot, I went up to nine foot and put the sensor at the same mark. Now we can worry about our 33 hundredths that we need to add. We are currently sitting at three tenths on the grade rod. We're gonna worry about tenths first, then we'll move up the hundredths. So we're sitting at three tenths. I wanna move up to six tenths and nine hundredths, which puts me there, just below the seven mark. Now we can worry about our three hundredths. And if you remember, each dash, both white and black, are a hundredth. So if we move up, let me get the angle to where you can see what I'm doing here. So if we move up, one, two, three hundredths. So we've now moved our laser up 6.33 feet on our grade rod. And you will notice when I pull back, We started right here, we end over here. That's our 6.33 feet. So now if you set this up straight, you're gonna notice you're way above the laser. Well, it makes sense because if you remember from our basement cut, we had a cut from our benchmark of 6.33 feet. So we are now set to go 6.33 feet down from our benchmark, which because we know the elevation is going to give us our true basement depth. So that's how you're going to take a laser and a grade rod and you're going to take an elevation off of a hub and translate it into the cut that you need for whatever your job requires. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out, shoot me a comment. I would be more than happy to do a better in-depth video or if there are more questions about what I just did, I have no problem doing a follow-up video or just answering them in the comments. Do me a favor, I love your support. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video.